It's your metabolism's fault. But is it? Because people often refer to their metabolism of the rate to which they process food. But more people blame their weight gain on age and slow metabolism now than ever. But this, I think, is false. Sure, your muscle naturally decreases as you age, but how fast it decreases is 100% dependent upon you. So in today's video, I'm gonna tell you why it isn't your metabolism's fault, and then we're gonna reverse engineer this to boost your metabolism. So we often blame our metabolism on why we've gained weight, right? A lot of people, they come into the gym, and they're like, you know what, as I've gotten older, my metabolism has slowed down, and somehow this 10 pounds has just accumulated. But I'm gonna tell you this right now. If it took you 10 years to gain 10 pounds, guess what, that's only one pound of weight that you have gained or one pound of fat that you've gained over the past 10 years. And that's actually not bad because I've seen people gain 20, 30, even up to 60 to even 100 pounds over 10 years. But the reason that they've gained weight is not due to their metabolism, but the reason why they've gained weight is because they become less active. So here's what actually is happening with your metabolism. If you increase the amount of muscle that you have on your body, then you're going to be able to increase the amount of calories that you are burning. So as you get older, you get lazier, you get tired, you get busier, and somehow you get more broke. And so you stop working out, right? And what ends up happening is that that muscle that you had when you were younger, that you were you know, going to gym class, walking to class, being way more active than you are right now, like right now you're glued to a desk. And so what ends up happening is if you don't use it, you lose it. So if you went from 30% muscle, just without working out, just being young and being active, and you went all the way down to 20%, well, that's 10% of muscle that you've lost. And so what ends up happening is that you've lost at least 10% of your total calories that you can eat in a day. But yet, now that we've gotten older, if I go and check your credit card history, I'm sure I'm gonna see a couple things of drive throughs a couple things of skip the dishes, a couple things of going out to eat with your friends or your spouse or whatever it is. And so our calorie intake has increased, but our activity has decreased. So did you know that muscle takes 30 calories to keep just one pound of muscle alive a day? Whereas fat, so the more fat you accumulate, it only takes three. So if you had more muscle, then you can afford to eat all those calories, but because you've decreased your activity, you've lost your muscle, and now you've increased your fat, but yet you're continuously eating more, and yet you have no muscle to feed. Does that make sense? And here's the good news, is that you can reverse all of that. And Fit Club is proof. If you haven't seen any of our people that post, this is not Fit Club posting about results. Now I know that it's never too late for you because why? The women here and the men at Fit Club have reversed age, okay? Our oldest member on the blue, and she allows me to say this, is Lucinda and right now she's 68. We just wrapped up a belly burn challenge and not only did she lose weight, but she also gained muscle. And you would think, well, at 68, that's too old to put on any new muscle. Lucinda's living proof. What did Lucinda do? She moved more and she ate less. She worked out with resistance and she added muscle. She did this all under the guidance of the coach, me, and she did it over a consistent time. And so is it too late for you? Absolutely not. So whatever you are, wherever you are right now, I guarantee you that we're gonna be able to help you and help you to gain that muscle so that we can increase your metabolism. And your metabolism increases three ways. Number one, the muscle that you gain is 30 calories per pound, whereas fat is only three. Number two, when you work out, you're gonna naturally get stronger, which means that muscles demand more energy for the movement. And so while you're working out, you're actually gonna be burning more calories. And then number three, when you're doing just basal metabolic stuff like resting, like me talking right now, with the amount of muscle that I have in my body, my body versus a guy that's the same age, same weight, but has less muscle, and we're both doing the exact same thing, I'm burning more calories than he is. And that has nothing to do with our age, height, 
genetics. It has everything to do with the amount of muscle that we have. And I have more muscle than that guy, so my metabolism is higher because I've earned a higher metabolism. So the same thing can happen for you. In the next video, I'm actually gonna debunk some myths and help you to be able to really focus on building new muscle and do it the right way. So make sure you stay tuned to tomorrow's video where I'm gonna show you how to build more muscle and debunk some myths.